first thing I want to mention, same thing I said to Aaron, I'm sure all the players are uh, wishing the gaffer well and would have been him on. Yeah, of course, obviously. Um, we'd love to have him with us, um, but the most important thing at the moment is him just recovering and doing it at his, his own speed. Obviously, all the, all the lads have been asking about him and everyone's wishing him and his family well and a speedy recovery, really. Um, obviously, it's been a great turnaround since he's been in. Um, results, we'd love to keep that momentum going, but we've just got to go down there tomorrow to Southampton and um, put, on a, put on a performance for, for ourselves and for the gaffer. How excited are you for this tie? I mean, you've been really blessed with FA Cup draws with Shrewsbury. Yeah, like you say, with last few years we've had we've had um, good cup runs. Um, I'd say they've kind of sidetracked us a little bit in the past, so that's a kind of a lesson to learn. But we um, we go down there tomorrow, playing a, obviously a Premier League opposition, and we'll look to give a good account of ourselves. And just looking at their team, they've got some really good players, players that have played at the, the international level. How exciting for you is that as players to test yourself against some of the best players in the country? Yeah, it's good. I think. Um, you always kind of you, you, you rise your game. Um, you're playing against, like you say, some of the best players in the country um, in a in a good stadium, one that probably not many of the lads have played played. So um, new surroundings and stuff like that, and it's a good opportunity to to show what what we can do and what we're made of. We already know who the next opposition could be in the in the next rounds. How weird is that for you as players? Yeah, it's not it's not usually normal, is it? You normally find out. Um, after the game, but um, obviously it's a good incentive. Another top team in England, Arsenal. Um, so we go into that with that in the back of our minds. But first of all, obviously we know how tough it's going to be tomorrow away from home at a, a good Premier League side. So we've just got to go down there and, like I say, try and give a good account of ourselves. With this enforced break that we've had, how have you been ticking over? I see that you've uh, you've got your gym at home. Yeah, so that was something I did during the first lockdown. The injury kind of. Um, did a home gym in my garage, um, so I've been followed the program that um, AJ, the fitness coach, set, um, kept running, um, and obviously doing my gym work. So yeah, it's kind of tough, but I was one of one of few that was negative. Um, so I've just been keeping on top of my fitness and stuff like that, really. Yeah. And how are you feeling going into this one? I'm sure you're all excited. Yeah, good. If you look at the kind of a positive out of a dull situation, we've had a little bit of. Time to come back a bit, come off it after a tough month in December. Um, but we're f ready to go full steam ahead now, starting tomorrow um, in another busy month. So, yeah, let's bring it on.